my god, you finally did it, you crazy son of a... After seeing everyone else's display on YouTube, Reddit, or anywhere else on social media, you finally got your hands on a display case that you want, and it's finally in stock and you put it together at home. You shove all your favorite figures in your case and it ends up looking like this. What the f Oh my god! No, 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 no. Alright, jokes aside, if your display case looks like this, this is not to throw shade at anyone at all. If it looks like this and this is what makes you happy, then keep at it, right? But this is, video is just kind of like a tutorial and kind of my ideas on how to make your display case look a little bit better. In my opinion, that is something that's really inexpensive, takes close to zero effort at all. Because my logic behind it is that if you're going to spend so much time to look for these figures or model kits and spend so much time building them, detailing them, arranging them, and collecting them, right? And you treasure them so much then wouldn't you want to make it look as nice as possible? So I only got my Detolf last year, so I don't claim to be an expert or any kind of like, you know, fancy person that does this. I'm just like a regular dude. Um, as you see here, like even my lighting setup is kind of a little bit ghetto. I just kind of zip tied everything. And, you know, there's a lot of improvement I could do as well too, right? Some things are just kind of lined up. I have like a random Animal Crossing thing in the background. You know, just like random things in my display case that I could do better and make improvements on. But I do notice that a lot of people don't take advantage of like very, very, very small things that they could use to improve their display case. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to hire anyone to, you know, set it up for you, you know, and I'm going to go over that. So first off, I think when it comes to a display case and you have multiple figures, the reason why I don't like when displays are like this, and there's one thing I learned really quick as well too, is that when you have everything on a flat surface and you just have all your figures lined up, it doesn't look nice because first of all, everything's kind of just like cramped together and then you see whatever's in front, but whatever figures you have in the back, you just don't see it. There's an Ultra Instinct Goku there in the back. There's the Goku and Vegeta figure there in the back. And you can't see it because everything's just kind of jammed in there and lined up. And I think when I was looking at display cases or even when I see examples of when people show off their collections, I think it's a really big disservice to all the figures that you have in the back that you just don't display them and you just can't see them. And the reason why I wanted to make today's video is because I have my current Yu-Gi-Oh! display set up looking like this at the moment. And I recently acquired these two figures, the Kaiba and the Yugi Papa Parade, which I just did a review on. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But I wanted to incorporate these into the display as well as I got some uh, prismatic god boxes which look really nice that I want to use to replace the legendary deck boxes as well too. So I'm going to go over how to improve the displays and just to show like that it's not really that hard and just anybody can do it. So step one is the most important part like everything else. You need a plan. If you don't have a plan on how your display case looks or take your time thinking about it, it's not gonna look nice. Step two is gonna be, you're gonna want some kind of packaging tape, some kind of strong tape and acrylic risers. I'm not shilling for any company cause I don't make money off it or whatever it is. So I'm not gonna tell you which one to buy, but you just want acrylic risers in general. And I'm gonna go over why it's a benefit to your display. Alright, so the reason why you want acrylic risers is same thing as when I showed it inside a display case, right? The problem with lining up every single figure all in a row is because sometimes you might have figures that are larger than others or in general, if you have everything all in one plane, meaning it's all level, you're not going to be able to see the figures in the back and that's why a lot of times like it ends up looking like really ugly and it just doesn't look nice when you have it in the display, right? The point of acrylic risers is it comes in all these different sizes like large, small, you know, all these different sizes and then once I kind of put them together, you're going to see what I mean. All right, so I put it on two basic acrylic risers and you'll kind of see what I mean now, where rather than before where we have everything on one plane, you kind of have 
a little bit more of a way where you're displaying it so everything's kind of leveled out so it's not covering everything and you'll be able to see it. So I'll take it off the riser and we'll look at it again. So we'll take it off the riser just to see the difference between it. So now everything's off the riser again and you'll notice the difference again where, okay, now everything's on the same plane and everything's all covered again. Whereas when you had it on the acrylic riser, you're showing off all your figures and you're seeing the whole kit ra rather than just part of it and everything's covering one another. Okay, and then going back to my original point was the most important thing is planning, right? What do I mean by that? When you have a display case that you're trying to build and you're going to have like multiple levels or whatever it is, and we'll just use these four figures for example. If I wanted to build a display with these four figures, so I have like multiple sizes of risers, big, small, whatever it is, and I just use the small ones right now and they're roughly around the same height. When you're planning a display, you want to look at all the figures that you have, all the things that you want to incorporate into the display, which I'll show a little bit later when I'm building my Yu-Gi-Oh display. And I'll give an example using that on how my thought process on what I want it to look like and then how it pans out. So let's just say it's these four figures I wanted to display and you know, they're a range however it is. And then, oh, okay, Goku just died. Um, you know, I have my Goku, I have my Gogeta, I have my Yugi, right? I could just like layer it like this. It could go side by side. So at the end of the day, like I said, it really depends on how you want to arrange it. It's not like, oh, I see someone else do it a certain way and I'm going to copy how they do it or whatever it is. So my thought process behind how I would plan this is, you know what, these figures are a little bit larger. So I'm either going to want the large figures in the front or the large figures in the back. And then they're all facing a certain way, right? So the Gogeta's facing this way. The Ultra Instinct Goku's facing this way. So I'm going to arrange it a certain way. And then since the Kaiba's looking in this direction um, and his hand is facing that way, it will kind of look a little bit better if I had him arranged like this, right? Where he's kind of like pointing towards, while well, everyone's pointing towards this direction and he's kind of looking forward and then the Yugi figure is kind of looking forward as well too. So for me, the arrangement I would want is something like this, looking like that or like, towards the side and then maybe I'll have something in the middle like a card or something like that but that's just an example right so that's why I feel like acrylic risers is so important you wouldn't have this option if you had everything on a flat field especially since acrylic risers they come in so many different sizes it's just kind of like one of those things where as long as you can imagine it you could just you could build it you know you could stack a bunch of these together. You could make something in the back really high. And the fact that these are clear gives you like a lot more flexibility on how it looks in a display case. So that way, you know, it doesn't look ugly. All right, so we'll look one more time at this is how my current Yu-Gi-Oh display looks like. And then now I'm gonna show everything that I have right now that I put together on what I want to be in the new display. So one thing I wanted to go back to was when I talked about packing tape. Packing tape, you'd think, okay, it's just tape, right? You know, it's no big deal. But to go back to the idea of just being creative and just however you want your display to look like, it, you know, the options are endless. And it could look as crazy, as simple as you want it to be. It's kind of falling apart because I just kind of jerry-rigged it a little bit. But just to give an idea, with tape, what you could do is, okay, some people, what I noticed was, they simply just like, you know, have it like cards leaning on something and they always rely on it just like being against something in order to show it off. Right? Or I see a lot of people have their cards like just laying flat on the table and every single card is just, okay, flat and you can't really, and you can't really see it because everything's just lined up together. But you don't even need anything crazy to do this and you could literally just have like a random item, like I have like a random dice lying around and you know what i want so my idea was okay i want to have it look like kaiba's summoning the blue eyes white dragon i'm not going to make it as neat as possible but just to give you an idea of it okay so i have the tape i taped it onto the riser and the dice and there you go like it 
I can make it look a little bit higher for like a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And then it looks, it looks like he's summoning the card and it's like propped up in 3D, right? You don't have to use an acrylic riser. You can have like an assortment of other like items that you could put in the back. Or if you have like a box in the back that you could prop it up against and tape it to it, you can make it look like this as well too. And it's, you don't have to like copy it directly, but it's just to give you an idea of like, you know what? There's all these endless possibilities on how you could build your display and you don't have to limit it to just, okay, everything laying flat, everything, you know, being shown a certain way. All right, so if I do the whole video of me just assembling it together, it'll probably take like forever and it'll be like a 40 minute, one hour long video, which I don't think anyone would wanna watch. But I'm gonna go over briefly what my idea of what I wanna do is first, right? So I have these prismatic god boxes that I think look amazing. And what I wanna do is I wanna build a display with both the Kaiba and the Yugi figure. And then I'm just gonna go over briefly of what my thought process behind it is, right? So to me, okay, I have these prismatic god boxes. We have Slifer, we have Obelisk, we have Ra. So Slifer is like Yugi's monster. Obelisk is, you know, Kaiba's monster mostly. And arrangement, the thought process is, okay, so Yugi's gonna be on the right side, then Kaiba's gonna be on the left side. So I already know, okay, which box I want on which way. And then another way of thinking about it is, okay, I see how they're laid out now. You know, I mean, you don't have to lay it out this way, but you know, you just know, like, okay, if I lay the boxes out in a different way, it just won't look nice. And depending on like how large of a display room you have. So for me, I always feel like I want to stack it higher and kind of like in a pyramid-ish shape. And I'm gonna wanna incorporate the God cards into this somehow, which I haven't figured out just yet. I'll explain it at the end of the video whenever I show the finished result. And then one more thing I realized as well too is that compared to the legendary decks which I stacked up to two levels, the boxes I think are way bigger and thicker. These boxes are a lot smaller. So you already see that the figures are way taller than the actual boxes that I have in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably end up using acrylic risers to kind of raise these up and see how high I could kind of stack it so that way it looks a little bit nicer and we'll go from there. And then as I shown the part where, you know, I do like how Kaiba and Yugi's hand are kind of like this where it looks like Yugi's summoning a monster and then Kaiba could be summoning a monster in the back as well too. So I'm gonna see if I could somehow incorporate that into the display as well too. So I'm gonna cut off here and then we'll see how I end up laying it out. One thing I wanted to go over as well too is kind of like a disclaimer. If you're using tape to stick like cards onto like a box like my display to make it standing up, I recommend watching my other video on how to wrap sealed products with plastic. So that way when you have it on display and you have tape against it, you're not like tearing the wrapping on it. You're not tearing the seal because if you're using masking tape and you have things stuck onto sealed products, it'll actually like when you yank it off, the tape is really strong and you'll probably end up tearing the seal or damaging the boxes. Even uh, these prismatic god boxes, if I end up sticking stuff to it and using tape, I'm probably going to end up wrapping it first while I before I do the display. All right, so I end up spending way longer than I thought I would on something so simple. And I ended up wrapping the boxes and then I took all the cards out of the top loaders because I didn't really like how it looked with the top loaders on. Of course, I still ended up using sleeves. Although these were like the cheaper God cards that are like less than a dollar, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But this whole video is just to give you an idea of like what you could do with your display, right? At the end of the day, you display it however you want to. It can go as far as your imagination will let it go. And at the end of the day, make use of the tools that you have, right? For me, I like using acrylic risers. I like the fact that I could lift it up and just, it just gives it like a better look overall and you'll be able to see more. As opposed to if I didn't use acrylic risers, then everything will be on the same level. It just, to me, it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing. And then on top of that, creativity, right? Where if you have trading cards, right? And laying everything down flat or buying all these like expensive holders or cases and stands, tape, all you need is tape. Like 
the god cards that I have there in the back, how I held them to the box was it's not propped up against it to fall. All I did was attach some tape to the back of the sleeve and then tape it to the box and then it looks like it's standing up and hovering. You know, small things like that. At the end of the day, you know, I mean, lighting aside, I think lighting really helps and maybe I'll do a video of it sometime later on, but I think lighting really helps your case. But aside from that, mainly it's just planning it. Put all the things that you have together, look at the space that you have and plan it out. Like for example, I did it this because this way because the detop is quite small. But if you had like a bigger display case that's way longer, I probably would have pushed the god boxes way further back. In the front, I probably would have had a dark magician and a blue eyes white dragon and having Yugi and Kaiba summon them and just flesh it out from there. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope this helped as some sort of tutorial in order to just help you build a display case because I know it's really hard, especially if you're a collector and you know what, I have all these figures but I don't know how to display them and it seems like, you know, so hard and people have to be like so artsy in order to do it. And I also find that a lot of times people don't really share how they do the lighting, share how they do the displays. People seem to just keep it as some kind of secret, which I hate. So I hope that me sharing my tips on how I do my display helps you make your display better as well too. Because at the end of the day, that's really what all it's about, right? When you're a collector of any kind, you want to just show off what you have. You want to just display it even for yourself and just you know, look at it every once in a while and go like, wow, like my stuff is really cool, right? But yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If there's any questions or anything you wanted me to go over, feel free to leave it in the comments or just if you have anything you want to say or just let me know you're watching. I really love reading comments. Have a great day.